Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Ains Outdoors, you outdoors freaks. Welcome back to the channel. It's Friday, just afternoon, it's about midday. And I'm at Mopley this weekend. Just having a little mooch around. Just checking the snags down here. I've got a funny feeling with the sun shining onto this bank. And with these snags here. And that bit of weed rotting. I've got a funny feeling this is where the fish are going to be still. Oh, that's very, very, very moist underfoot. Let's have a look here. Hmm. Should definitely be watching this for a bit. I saw some uh, saw some movement in the water when I turned up earlier. So I thought I'd come down and give it a closer check. Definitely going to be some fish up in on the rear with this sun coming in. It's going to be warming up these snags, that's for sure. And fish like this at best of times. Definitely movement about here. Anyway, I'm gonna get my gear out. I'm gonna get set up. And I'll bring you back later. I'll speak to all in a bit. Right, that's the rods out. Right hand rod on the right hand snags. As you can see over there, left hand rod up on the tip of the lilies on the other snags on the tree over there. Both on helicopter rigs. Right hand rod is a reducer with a fruit and nut wafter. Left hand rod is a what is the left hand rod? I think it is I think it's an OG fish wafter. Pink one, if I remember correctly. It's only been five minutes, so I can't remember. But anyway, that's where I am. Both rods are out. I put about 10 loose boilies over the right hand rod and about 10 over the left hand rod. And the left hand rod had a little PBA mesh with a crushed up boilie in the bottom, so a bit of pellet and then some crushed up boilie in the top to pack it down. And the right hand one had crushed up boilie in the bottom, some maggots in the middle and a crushed up boilie on the top. So that's where I am. Obviously I'll uh, bring you back if anything happens. If we have anything. Hopefully I'll have something the weekend. Just going to go and get the rest of me bits out of the car now. And... Uh, I'm not leaving the swim, don't worry, the car's parked literally right behind the swim. I'm just going to go and get me kettle and that out so I can make a coffee. I'll catch up with you all in a bit. Hi everyone. Well, it's looking lovely. Weather's looking good the weekend, not meant to have any rain. 10% chance of a sprinkle Saturday late afternoon, Saturday evening, but I don't know. If it says 10%, it's not very often it does bit of cloud coming in later tonight a bit cloudy and overcast tomorrow uh, full moon I know some people believe that the uh, full moon affects the fish but you know it's a contentious issue there's no scientific proof 
that the moon has the has effect on the fish. The reason more fish get caught on a full moon is because people believe it and more people go fishing. More people are fishing, more fish are going to get caught. Just as much chance catching the fish any other time. It's more dependent on the weather than the moon, I think. But, uh, you know, if it is true, if they do have it, they say big common, big moon, big common. There's some nice commons in here, but I don't personally believe that that's true. What are your thoughts? Anyway, just having a coffee, just sitting here watching the water. A little bit of movement out there. Fingers crossed we can uh, put some fish in the net this weekend. One will do, as you know, not greedy. Any of you in the market for carp clothing, carp gear, visit Wallop Clothing. I've got one of the, got the hoodie on here. I've got their jacket, their new jacket, the Hydrotherm jacket, unbelievable. So warm and it, I mean, waterproof's an understatement. The water don't even like collect on it, it just beads and runs off. Amazing, they, their gear, Wallop Clothing gear, not only is it fairly priced, like really good price, the quality is outstanding. I mean, you, you'd be happy to pay double the money for the quality of the gear. And their new range that's just coming out now, there's nothing else like it, design-wise, and it, it really is worth looking at, seriously. Have a look at their Facebook page. And have a look, there's a link to the website on their Facebook page, Wallop Clothing. Yeah, it's, it's brilliant, it really is. And I'm not being paid to, pay, paid to say that either. But credit where credit's due. Anyway, gonna finish my coffee. Carry on watching the water. I'll catch up with you all in a bit. Evening everyone. It's just gone five. And uh, I mean, it's a lot darker than it looks on camera. But uh, there's definitely some fish moving about out there. Just redone my right hand rod. Put a new Medusa rig on. And put it up, up to the uh, snag. Put it a little bit snow closer to the snag. Not a lot, probably only about six inches closer, but you know, it's pretty much as close as you can get it really without hitting the branches. So, uh, just, just wait now, wait and see what happens. Just gonna have something to eat. And uh, hopefully get a bite. Hopefully have something tonight. If I do, obviously, I'll uh, I'll bring you back. But we've got all weekend, so we'll see what happens. Gonna have something to eat now, and I'm gonna have a coffee. Catch up with you all in a bit. Evening, everyone. Quarter past seven. Quarter past seven. Nothing yet. There's a few on the lake tonight. My stepson's here. He's in the swim next to me. And then we've got another three or four down this bank. And I think there's one on the island. I don't know if there's any further down. It's just the one that I know of. So there's a fair few on this weekend. Like I was saying earlier, full moon brings more anglers out. That's why more fish get caught. Anyway, hopefully I'll have something. And I'll be able to speak to you all in a bit. If not, it'll probably be the morning now. Speak to you then. Morning, everyone. It's eight o'clock. 
dead calm, dead still. Woke up to a big frost on everything. No fish, unfortunately. The lake hasn't done a bite. No one, had, no one on the lake had anything last night. It's calm. I'm hoping when it warms up a bit later, they might get on the move. It's warming up later to, I'm not sure what it was actually. 10, around about 10 degrees, something like that, which is quite a lot for this time of year, so. We're supposed to have some sunny spells today. So with any luck, it might, you know what it's like, one minute they're dormant, one minute they're on the feed. Can, you know, switch on the flip of a coin, so with any luck, at some point today, they'll get on the feed. I'm just making myself a coffee. I'm gonna cook up some uh, sausage, bacon and eggs soon for me and the boy. I'm just making a coffee. Been watching the water for about an hour. I'm not seeing anything. Obviously, if anything happens, I'll, uh, you'll be the first to know. I'll catch up with you all in a bit. Gotta love the morning stillness and the mist rising off the lake. Come on, fish. And that's mine going. Cut it on a little bit and whack the three eggs in there. Hold it. I'll be food a bit on the bank, I've got to have a quick breakfast. Set me up for the day. Just need the carp to feed now. I'm going to have a little move about in a minute with the rods, just going to eat this. And then have a bit. In a bit. Can't be a fry up on the bank. Fuel for the day. Morning everyone. Right. Done all my breakfast, all my coffees and everything. I'm just going to show you a little rig I made. Well, I thought like it's almost spring weather today. It's warming up a little bit. We're going to have some sun. Just in case I ever decide to go and have a mooch. And I know I can place this anywhere. Like a little bit of debris over there and that. So I made a little mini uh, stiff hinge rig on uh, semi-stiff. Uh, oh, what's that bloody Nash line? Skin link. The semi-stiff skim link I prefer than the stiff because I like it to be able to sit over stuff. So I made a little mini, a little mini uh, stiff hinge there. Not very big, what's that? It's inch and a half, that bit of uh, stuff in there. And then a little 12 mil bright yellow pineapple pop up. And because it's on a bigger, I've stuck um, foam like three quarters of the way in it, which will just hold it up forever. Bit of yellow foam. So I just made that, made that up. So that's going to go out today. It's going to go out in a minute. And I'm going to change the position of my left hand rod. Just hang that back up there. And the other ones are just on, uh, just on standard Ronnie's on the, uh, also on the skin link. So uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to um, just going to do it now. I'm just going to bring in my left hand rod, change that rig over, have a look at the right hand rod. Obviously, the right hand rod had the match the hat, match the hatch. Uh, fruit and nut with the medusas on, but uh, nothing on that. I'm surprised to be honest. Well, I'm going to bring bring the left hand one in, then bring the right hand one in, change them over. I'll catch up with you all in a bit. half ten it's both rods redone left hand rods moved put it onto the little shelf that runs just in front of the reeds on the left here on the left point and then the uh, right hand rod back out to where it was uh, freshen the baits up I've gone for white now on the right hand rod on the Ronnie rig and then on the left hand rod is 
that um, little stiff hinge I showed you with the little 12 mil yellow pop up on it with the foam in it. So fingers crossed. Something will change, as you can tell, it's day's brightening up, warming up, it's brightening up, everything's defrosted. Weren't supposed to have a frost last night, it's only supposed to go down to three, four degrees, but obviously went down to, you know, zero, minus one, it's everything froze. So that was a bit strange. Mrs. Haynes outdoors is popping down in a minute. She's bringing me a big bag of sweet corn. There's no bream in here. There's a few little roads, but no bream. There's a few tench. But I'm going to um, put some sweet corn out over that yellow pop-up. Just sweet corn on its own, see if that helps. You never know. It's predominantly a boily and pellet water here. I don't think many people fish here with sweet corn so I thought I'd give it a go with that little yellow pop up I'll let you know what happens speak to you in a bit right welcome back everyone and as you can probably hear I've got the breakfast on the go just doing the boys first Sausage, bacon, and then eggs. Another little chicken heart is in there. Oh, it smells lovely. Do his first, and then I'll do mine. Couldn't have bothered to get the old stove out. I've got the quad stove, but a bit of a cramped swim, so I didn't really want to set up to. Should have done it in the back of the car, thinking about it. Could have used that as a bloody table, set them both up in there. But it don't matter. I'm on it now. So it turns out the boy lost one in the night at half three. Didn't bother waking me up. He said it ran him all the way around the bloody lake, nearly went through my lines. And then he lost it at half three this morning. So that's a bit annoying, but... Excuse me. Yeah, so... Move one of my one of his mates is going later, and he's going to move down into the swim his mates in, and the rest of them are all staying tonight. So he's in the swim next to me, which is quite close. So when he goes, I'm going to put one of my rods over into his into that swim's water where he's where he lost that fish from, and my other rod over here to spread it out a bit. I'm going to have something to eat, sort all this out, and then I'm going to sort my rods out. Got a couple of rigs tied up already. I'll show you them in a bit, what I'm going to do. So just sort this out, and we'll have a catch up in a bit. See you then. Right, let's go check out all the boys' camps and see what's going on. This is my stepson's little camp. Probably not here. You in there, Dale? No. All these bits he got for Christmas. Fishing over there, he lost one over there this morning. Right. Let's go and find where they all are. Morning. Another one. Can hear them. There they all are, look. There's all the boys. What's going on then? Nothing much, really. Freezing, yeah. What do you have for breakfast? A bit of bacon? Yeah. Happy bacon. days. Lovely. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> you're all wrapped up and you're snood. Oh, you go do things. Go steak. Got about three jumpers on. 
Hopefully we'll all have something today. Hope so. Hopefully, yeah. Hi everyone, afternoon. Don't even know what the time is. I haven't got a clue, probably just after one. Anyway, I've got my right hand rod now. Down that channel, right down that channel between uh, the tree line and the weed line. I've gone right further down and uh, I've put some, I've put all my eggs in one basket, both rods, left and right. Left one I've got on the stiff hinge rig that I showed you, right hand one I've got on a wafter on a Ronnie, but the right hand one's topped with a piece of floating corn, left hand one's yellow as it is, but I've spawned sweet corn out over both of the rods. I'm just putting a bit of sweet corn out. And I had a shocker with the wind, look. See if you can see. See that there in the tree? Uh, to the left there. That's my little midi spawn. Bloody wind blew the braid over. And it, um, trying to get it back in. And it, as I've got it up, it trying to do it slow, just to flick it over the branch. And as it got to the top, it spam round and wrapped round. I tried to get it off and it just broke pain in the arse so I'm going to have to get the uh, bloke who runs the lake here have a word with him later and hopefully next time he goes out in the boat he'll get it put it down for me but other than that all good I'm just going to have something to eat and hopefully this corn the corn situation will be a bit different and try it and see I've tried naturals, I've tried maggots, I've tried match the hatch colours, I've tried pink, I've tried white, and now I'm trying yellow over corn, so let's see what happens. Ah, oh, catch up with you all in a bit. Right, it's four o'clock now, uh, just getting, you know, set for the evening, and I've just seen my first 100% definite sign I've got fish in the area the reeds over to the left have been knocking and there's no wind and there were definitely carp in there so that's good because I've got, got a rig over there so with any luck one of them will uh, trip up and take my bait fingers crossed Got less lines near me now. My stepson's moved into his mate's swim further down because he went. So now the swim next to me is empty. So there's no lines sort of within my vicinity now, apart from mine, obviously. See what happens later. Hopefully a bit of luck. Speak to you then. Right, I've just moved my right hand rod from down that channel there to in front of them reeds right there because them reeds keep knocking. I haven't put any bait out there. It's just got a, a wafter, a yellow wafter topped with a piece of yellow floating corn which makes it just that extra bit buoyant it's not quite pop-up buoyant but it's buoyant so I've just put that out there see if anything takes its fancy fingers crossed I'll be able to speak to you soon with a fish in the net or you'll, if it's daylight, hopefully, you'll be able to see me play it in. No, my luck, I'll lose it. We'll see in a bit. Evening, everyone. Quarter to eight. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you in the night tonight with a fish. 
certainly deserve one. One of the ones I'm after. Cheeks or dumpy. I mean, I'll take the big fully and I'll take Joker, but... Cheeks and Dumpy, two lovely mirrors. One will ever do me. Anyway. Catch up with you all soon, if not in the morning. Morning, everyone. Just gone eight. No fish again. No one on the lakes caught anything. Dead quiet. I reckon it will be today. I'll be here fishing till about 11. It's gonna get even warmer today, up to 12 degrees. So I reckon if it's gonna go, it will go today, but maybe not in time for us, hopefully. Hopefully, we'll have one before we go so quiet as you can see just making a coffee I'll uh, catch up with you in a bit well it's 20 past 10 just the rods left to go now on the net and the mat everything else is packed away pretty much got my ground sheet hanging up over the fence drying off it's nearly done another hour I expect and I'll pack up my rods. Could get a last minute. You never know your luck. Do one at some point. Anyway, catch up with you in a bit. Oh, well, that's it. All packed up. Just loading the last few bits in the car. Unfortunately, no fish again this weekend. Spring's on its way. Well, I'll catch up with you soon. For now, Haynes Outdoors, out.